Good morning, everybody. So today is starting out a little bit differently. We've mentioned it on the other vlogs, um, but I'm with Eve. We are about to go into the vet's office. We've only been here one other time because we did change our vet, but it's nice. It's a little residential area, so I can walk around with Eve. We are a little bit early. I dropped Peter off at work, so I'll pick him up later tonight. Um, so yeah, she's just chilling in the grass. Oh. What do you think? What do you want to do? So Sarah had quite the quite the intense af morning and afternoon with things not working like our vlog and everything. But Sarah got it up and she picked me up at work. We ran somehow, I don't even know how, ran over to SeaWorld because we got our annual passes. So we're gonna try. It's literally only open for another 45 minutes if they'll even let us in. And uh, we're gonna try to go on. Just one ride, that's all. Just one. Just one, maybe Mako. Depends on the weight, I don't know. But we are SeaWorld and Aquatica annual pass holders. If you have any information on Aquatica, because we know nothing about it, other than it's all about water rides, put a comment down below and let us know what we should expect from it. not be an issue right but we have no idea where we're going yeah we just walked one way and like literally had to turn around so we did the beast that is what is it called mako. mako it's literally i think we both decided it's our favorite roller coaster in in orlando it's hard because like you know i'm a rock and roller coaster purist but it's like this is like you know that it's like it's a different type of roller coaster outdoor roller coasters are different than rock and roller coaster. It's kind of on a different caliber. Okay. Um, um it's we, like, we even sat front row. Like I was talking, just talking to Sarah when we were in line that like my mind kind of puts SeaWorld into the same bucket as like Six Flags or I foresee being Bush Gardens that same way, like the outdoor roller coaster, even parts of like Al Alice's Adventure. Disney's just whole different to me. Yeah. So but make really? so good, yeah, so like fast, so, so high, crazy. so like, big, be, Like so front row on that, if you ever get to go on it, wait for front row. We literally just waited five minutes. If you have sinuses, go on Mako. At one point I felt air rushing into my sinuses through my mouth and my nostrils. So we're gonna head to the penguins. Last time we were here, it was our favorite thing. It's super, super cold in there. Um, so yeah, that's how we're gonna end hope our day. Hope you let us in. I hope so Fingers too. Crossed. So we know this is part of like the summer festivities they're doing here. Um, so hopefully, I don't know if it'll be this weekend or the next weekend, but hopefully soon we'll come check out. They've got a nighttime fireworks show, nighttime light show. Um, I don't know why and what kind they are, but for the summer until September, they're actually giving adults or people of age two, be two free beers with admission. So we have a lot to explore. Oh, there's the Infinity Falls um, like ride mechanism that you're gonna be in that was not here last time. I don't know if this is like a laughable offense for people who know SeaWorld, but I'll tell you just in case it is, so you get a kick out of it. Uh, we were at Mako. We decided to walk this way because the sign said to go this way. We're right behind Shamu Stadium to try to get to the penguins because I believe they're in the wild Arctic because that would only make sense to me. But I also know that they're right by that big water drop and it's like 5.58 right now. Park closes in two minutes, so. And I feel like when we came here last time, it was like the first thing we did. Yeah, I feel like so it was right like in the beginning. The I feel like it might not be in Wild Arctic, which just doesn't make sense to me. But we're learning. We're gonna keep on learning. We're learning. <laughs> Left bull fence number two today. That little boy's having a blast. Um, Wild Ar Arctic is not where the penguins are. It's just. It's, I forgot what it is, an but it's like a, an attraction. And we also walked very far out of the way. We walked around the backside of Shamu Stadium towards the construction for Sesame Street when we could have just walked that way right over here. And now the park is closed, so we have to cross this beautiful bridge and head out to the front. It looked all like icy and stuff. It looked like the Arctic, so logic would tell me that the wild Arctic is it, but you know, I'm new to this theme park, so please don't hate. <laughs> But that's part of like those water jets are part of like the nighttime spectacular that they're doing for the summer. I forgot what it's called. It's called something. Yeah, it's only on the weekends, right? It's only on the weekends. It's open until nine on the weekends, but it's like called like electric, oh, electric ocean? 
have no idea. We'll find a sign. Note to self about SeaWorld Orlando. It's super windy. We must keep the, the, the bunny, the furry ball on top of the G7X when we come here. Oh yeah. I thought you were talking about the I mean, we could chop that off and put it on top of the camera and it'll work. I uh, still got to learn all the different like areas of this park, but I, I did appreciate this area a lot because the theming. Nice. Yeah, it, we, we came here, it was nighttime because we came over here during Christmas and it was like, remember we saw like the drumline drummer or toy soldiers right here? Bye bye SeaWorld. Till next time. I know, way sooner than the last time we were here. Way sooner because we're annual pass holders now. Kind of me, part of me kind of wants to do Aquatica before we come back here. I was thinking that too. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it smells oh, so good. good. I know Peter was here yesterday, but I have not been here in a very long time. Smell it, smell it, smell it. You gonna go to the bathroom? To wash yeah. your hands because we ate apples in the car and uh, sometimes it's sticky no matter what. If if she eats an item, the food that can be sticky, she gets sick. Oh yeah. Let's go check out this band. It looks like the, sounds like they're rocking we out. We are meeting up with um, a lot of people tonight. A lot of people tonight. Well, two One is someone that I work with in Chicago and not like only work with like was involved with you guys. Yes, well, he still is. But we haven't seen him in a long time. And then we're gonna meeting back up with Ashley and Ryan tonight for some beaches and cream. I haven't been there in a long time. Word in the street is Kyle's over here. been sitting around. It's been nice. We've been sitting around talking to Sarah's old friend and it's his like girlfriend. Weird. It's like he was actually just saying like she said like is it weird? Like he was actually my boss. But like because I, I worked a lot in college, it was like they were my friends. They were like my college friends. I'm peeling a little bit. But I got a tan. I got tan. He did. Me not so much. But I tan easier than Sarah. Uh, yes, that's wonderful. Look at that. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. We hope you enjoy our story tonight. Reflections of Earth. We have not watched like full on illuminations like that in a great good old spot. Yeah. Get in a spot, sticking it out. And we were with friends, which was awesome. Yeah. It was great. Thanks for guys if you ever see this. <laughs> Thanks for letting us crash. Yeah. But we're now heading on over to the beach club. We have a reservation at 9.45 in 10 minutes with Ashley and Ryan. Um, to get some ice cream. We're gonna get a Sunday, we think a peanut butter one. Um, yeah. but it's hot guys. Yeah. Florida's back. It's back. It's just like, and it's that humid hot, like even like last night, I felt more, it, the humidity felt, the air felt thicker at night at 11 o'clock when we got home than it did at 7 p.m. Yeah. And it's kind of going through the similar thing now. I feel like Tonight's stickier. Been a little bit breezy or something. Yeah, but it's still been sticky. But the, yeah, there was no breeze yesterday. It's been a crazy day. You see World, Epcot. Vaccinations. Vaccinations. <laughs> All over the place. Back to work and new projects. Like, it's been good. It's been a Monday. It's, it's been a Monday, but, but the best kind of Monday you could have. Uh, Kyle, like Sarah worked with Kyle as we said, but like Kyle's brother and his girlfriend met up with us and they were like, so why do you live here? Like, why do you, why do you come here every day? And I'm like, they're from Chicago, so I'm gonna throw out some Chicago references, but I was like, you, you can go to Montrose Beach on Tuesday, right? Like, yeah, I'm like, 
I go to Boardwalk on Tuesday. I'm like, you want to go get a drink at the outside patios on State Street? She's like, yeah. And I was like, that's me going to World Showcase. I was like, well, it's tomato, tomato. It's just location. And she's she's been to Disney numerous times. She's like, that's awesome, actually. And I was like, see? So it's, it's not too crazy. Oh no! This doesn't happen everywhere. Yeah. You don't get to watch fireworks everywhere. Right. So it was kind of cool because she like asked that because it seems to somebody who doesn't know Disney, but even to sometimes people who do know Disney, were like, why is it so outlandish? And then it's simple as like, why sit on the couch when I could go walk around South Crescent Lake with my best friend? Oh, okay. I see. Look at this. Yeah. Ryan got his fries and they got a hidden Mickey. Those, those look delicious. Mine look good, but those look great. What's in that? It's uh, bacon, bacon, a ranch dip, and uh, cheese. cheese. And we just got the cheese? I, I think see some curds. Oh, yeah, we got white gravy. So tasty. We got the No Way Jose. This is in honor of Matt Carl. He loves, he loves this. And I've never seen this before. This is the grilled grill banana bread and peanut butter. And it's so, so good. And I almost had a panic attack. <laughs> it's at the very bottom. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This was such a good surprise. Thanks for inviting us, guys. Just three peas in a pod. Who has seen this uh, two goats in a boat? Jimmy Fallon, <laughs> Lynn Manuel Miranda? Because that is hilarious. Guys. Confession, I only had one contact in all night. It was awful. Yeah, but we had a good time hanging out with Ryan and Ashley. Thanks, Ryan mm -hmm. and Ashley, for letting us crash. We don't know if we'll see you between now and you don't go home. Say it, don't say that. But <laughs> we haven't been. Sarah's laughing right now because she just edited out the portion of where I accidentally said uh, disclamatory thing <laughs> instead of saying the real name. But we went to Beaches and Green tonight. Um, and haven't been there in a while, and there's a lot of a lot of fun, really tasty. We got those those yeah, those are different white gravy cheese fries, which are yeah, good. They're really good. I um, wish I could have like ten plates of them though. I will say before we sign off that I had a lot of questions about Solo because I didn't <laughs> say what I thought about it. And I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm not a good source of uh, movie reviews because you guys know me. I try to be super optimistic and I love everybody and everything and I loved it. I love every Star Wars movie. I just love that the franchise is continuing. I'm not a diehard fan so I wasn't like analyzing things that have happened in the other cartoon series or books or other movies or hints or things. I just loved it. It was really enjoyable. I had a good time. Entertaining? It was entertaining. Dustin was thought it was well good. It was well acted? filmed, well acted. I enjoyed it all. So Good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We have SeaWorld passes. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>